So in today's video, we are going to deal with cutting threads of a, of a motorcycle, a plug, the whole of a plug. So the plug is this one, the original one, it measures 12 millimeters. So we are going to use a irium coil of 14 millimeters, as you are seeing. So we are going also to use a irium coil made from I used the plug or a plug, a bigger plug of an, uh, spanner of 16 millimeter. So this is a 14. So this one measures 14 millimeters. Uh, uh, the original plug measures 12 millimeters. So we are going to remain with two millimeters. So we are going to use a plug of a vehicle. Uh, this is the plug of a vehicle as our irium coil for this video so also we are going to use 14 14 times 1 to 5 because a plug of a vehicle our irium coil has a thread of 2 of 1.25 as the pitch so these ones are the this is the top which is going to cut the threads of the irium coil uh, also we are going to use a tap of one of 12 times one two five because also the original plug of the motorcycle has a pitch of one one times two five so these ones are going to cut inside of the area coil so these ones are going to cut the threads so that we can tie our area coil so for this time round we are going to use our area coil made from a uh, spark plug of a vehicle so we are going to drill inside 10 millimeters so that we can so that we can do we can cut the threads of 12 times 1 2 5 so the number of the figures are deleted but i'll show you the drilling uh the drillings with the rot on this top but they are no longer existing so this is an england top yeah there are no readings so let's go into the video and we see how to deal with a spark plug of a motorcycle. First to remove the irium coil. So we are going to cut that top part and remove it with a grinder. So let's tie into the vise. So I'm going to use a grinder to remove that excess part. So we have finished to remove the excess part of our area coil of a spark plug, motor spark plug. Let's use a drilling bit of 10 millimeters to drill inside. As you are seeing on a vanilla caliper, it measures 10 millimeters. So we are going to drill inside the area coil. Let me use this drilling machine. So you should keep yourself in a straight line, you keep on looking into the hole to see whether you are not bent or you are not uh, taking some big, big parts. So, so the drilling bit has got hold, let me get some water. So let's cool the drilling bit. So if you try to use when it's too hot, is heating up, it may end up breaking. So we have finished to uh, drill in 10 millimeters inside our area coil, but let's cool it because it's too hot. So let us remove the washer of the spark plug. So we have to remove that washer of the spark plug using the hammer. We don't need that washer of the spark plug. We have to remove it. So now as you are seeing I've removed the washer of the spark plug, it may uh, make the work a bit tedious when we try to cut, to tie that irium coil inside. So we are going to put some marks on the irium coil but we do not cut it, we cut it a bit like in the center and we leave some small space. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you continue with our study
So we have finished to prepare our irium coil. So you put these marks, you cut a little bit, and you leave a space here. So also you cut this side. So in that, if you try to tie, it reaches a certain point and it breaks. So you are finished to uh, even I drill with a 10 millimeter drilling bit. They have removed now the head, so we are going to work on the head as you are seeing. This is the head that is a gasket. So we are going to work only on the head, but let's test the, the plug. So the plug, the hole, the hole is stunted. Now the plug just enters. It's just the hole the plug enters. We need to tighten our voice. So after finishing tying, we are going to use a 12 millimeter drilling bit to drill inside to remove the remaining stunted threads. So let's drill. So to cut inside the threads, we are going to use a 14 1 times 2 5 plus a T handle as the holder so we are going to cut 14 inside because also our spark plug is 14 times 1 to 5 the threads so be careful don't put oil when you are using when you are cutting the threads for the area coil because we are going to use a spark glue whereby the spark glue will not need the oil so be careful when using the when you are cutting the threads of the area coil which is going to tie the area coil so don't use oil that's what i can try to ask you to do for me because oil and the spark glue will not match the oil will refuse the spark glue to tighten the area coil so when you are trying to cut do not penetrate through don't cut the threads of the area coil and they pass through the hole because you have to leave a some some space a little space to, before you pass through in that to act as a stopper of our area coil whereby if we try to to tie the stopper we are going to use it reaches a certain point and it ends if you try to use a lot of energy it will break so that's what we want so you leave some space to act as a stopper for the area coil so if you try to cut the threads and it passes through, the area coil also will just pass through. It will have no anywhere to stop. So the work done will be nothing. So it will be zero. So as you are cutting, you try to check down. You touch down so that the the the, the tap does not pass through. So in that leave a space because you are not seeing. So as you are seeing now, I'm going to show you. So. For me, I've left some space, not the tap has not passed through to act as a stopper of our irium coil. In that, if we try to, to tighten the irium coil, it will just break. So, we are going to tie this irium coil inside. We're using a spanner. La plus this L handle and an extension plus uh, that is a span of 21 in that to tie in that to tie this irium coil inside our stinder head as you are seeing so we have to tie it inside so we are going to use a spanner of 21 even with the help of the spark glue to tighten the irium coil inside So don't forget to put the spark glue on both sides. So you put on the irium coil, even where the irium coil is going to tie. So as you are seeing, so you have put inside there the spark glue. So you are going to tie the irium coil. So even if it should be a bit faster, because the spark glue will dry easily. So you have to use uh, some good speed to tighten that irium coil inside. So as you are seeing. Be careful when you are tightening the area coil because it may break in time. So it has broken. So we are as you remember when we cut the pieces each side, some pieces so to break and the piece of the area coil remains inside. So as you are saying, so you have moved the head of the area coil, it just broke. 
so you have also to drill inside with a 10 millimeter to, to make the hole a bit look good to remove those slugs inside next step is to remove the excessive part part of the irium coil using a drilling bit of uh, of 14 let's first try with a 14 millimeter to remove the excess parts let's prove by first let us put on the vanier caliper so as we are washing this is a drilling bit of number 14 using a vanier caliper so we are going to remove this excessive part using a 14 millimeter This drilling bit of 14 is not doing well. Let us use a 20, it's a 20 drilling bit because it's a bigger. So the big will move the rest of the ear coil and makes a good surface. So it's going to make a good surface. So let us use the a 20 drilling bit. So be careful and pay attention not to drill through again into the block so because you may drill again and you cause other problems so you be careful you drill and you look you drill slowly slowly until you see as if as uh, the coil is getting over so the coil now is over so be careful put that in mind so let's remove the dust to see what we have been doing so now the dust is done so let's also remove the excessive uh, Irium coil because there is some remaining small ones because I wasn't a bit straight so even to remove the spark glue because it has got it has got some uh, metallic particles as you are seeing so you have to remove them the, the Irium coil so the Ilium coil did not come out as you are seeing. So as we are seeing did not pass out. We have finished also to uh, tie our Ilium coil inside. So we are going to cut the threads, the final threads inside with a, a tap of 12 of 1 to 5 inside. So using this T handle even a tap of 12 of 1 to 5 so we use a t-handle because the cross handle cannot manage to cut those threads so that's why i use a t-handle even you have to cut the threads when you are in a straight line so you have to keep that in your mind because even you are working on a plug so you have to be in a straight line yeah, the third now the tap is too hard, it needs some energy. But let me first uh, again put a 10 millimeter drilling bit inside so that I can a bit surface, uh, beat the hole to be a bit at least big, big, bigger, bigger than because it's, it's too small because the tap is I'm using a lot of energy. Yeah, don't forget even that we are using a 12 of times 125 tap to cut the threads inside so as we have because inside we have pulled, we have tied a irium coil of 14 times 1 2 5 because that was the size of our irium coil of the plug we used so inside we drilled with a 10 millimeter drilling bit so that we can cut uh, uh, 12 times 1 2 5 threads inside because those are the threads of the spa of the original spark plug of the motor of the motorcycle so keep also in mind but when cutting the final thread should be in straight line don't even forget to use oil because we have used the area coil of steel it's a bit big it's a bit hard so compared to the irium coils of uh, brush and cast iron so compared to other like let me say like compared to other metals so you have to use also oil to keep even the thread taps in shape so we have finished to cut inside the threads of 12 of 1 to 5 but 
have to remove also the excessive parts of the irium coil because if it you finish to cut also the tap brings out some excess parts of the irium coil so let me remove the excess parts of our irium coil by sharpening a broken drilling bit of eight millimeters uh, sharp pointed a bit flat in first remove the excessive parts and to make everything look smart and nice to make also a good surface so as you are seeing you have to make the final threading so you have to also after removing the excessive parts of the area call you have also to put again the tap to make the starting point of the threads and as you are saying i suggest that if you are doing the last tapping I suggest you to tap the tap until it passes through and it falls down so to confirm that everything is okay and fine as you are seeing in the video so i'm trying to use my hand to remove to pass uh, so it has passed through so let's try and see now the work is finished and then so time for testing using this brand new 12 millimeter one times 1.25 spark plug so as you are seeing now it is tying so let us get uh, use the spanner to tie it very well and you see that work is done and everything now is fine i've used a brand new plug so we have been using a AM coil of a spark plug of a vehicle 14 times 125 so we used also a drilling bit of 12 millimeter to drill inside the area coil after we drilled inside the area coil 10 millimeters and we used the uh, tapping bit of 12 times 125 inside cause the spark plug has it is of 12 millimeters one times one to five so we drill in with a 10 millimeter drilling bit inside the, our area coil so that's all what was needed for this work for today thank you for watching please don't forget subscribe like and comment in any video you have been watching i'll be there to answer you so let's learn with me brand it was free thread youtube channel thank you very much you leave any comment advice in the video thank you